Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to see some pretty incredible new face results. And they surprise me more than anyone because although I have been using the new face and I did a 30 day results video, which I think looked really good, those results were good, and I'll link it below, I kind of wondered about it because it's over $300 and the results I thought were kind of subtle. And so basically I ended up quitting using the new face maybe about two months ago and I will tell you a little bit of background about that. And first, let me say that I am coming to you totally without makeup because my first impulse when I get on this channel is to put on makeup and to show you my best face. And uh, something about makeup, you know, when they say you put your face on, you kind of really do that with makeup. At least for me, with it, without makeup, it's a little easier for me to kind of let down my guard. Um, and so let me tell you what's been going on in my personal life that kind of prompted me to quit using the new face two months ago and really to quit doing a lot of the things that I need to be doing um, because my life has been incredibly busy lately. First, let me start by saying that my sister and I own kind of an insurance company. It's more of an employee benefits company. I don't want to get into the details. It's kind of boring for people that don't know about employee benefits. But what that means is that January 1, most employee benefits change and so this time of year from the 1st of August on through the end of December, I am like running around like a rat in the maze. I am going to enrollment meetings here in Wichita and all over the state of Kansas. In fact, this next week, I'm going to Garden City overnight, which will be fun because I get to take Allie with me. Um, and uh, we have a great client there, love that. And I love what I do, but this is a very busy time of year for me. And, and in addition to that stressor, I have been doing what turned out to be a very major a remodeling project on the first floor of my house which I have a you know a ranch style house and it has a basement but the first floor basically means my entire house it started here in this room actually I repainted this room another bedroom and the bathroom here and then it kind of expanded to the whole first floor and it's turned into this humongo job it was supposed to be three weeks that's what they always say oh three weeks three weeks it will be done in three weeks well here I am eight weeks later from the start of that job and it is still not quite finished. And if you'd like to see a video about the progress of that wonderful remodeling project, I basically took my house from old world and heavy dark woodwork in a lot of uh, places in the house, including the kitchen cabinets. I had all of that trim painted white and all of the walls changed. And of course that meant I needed to change rugs. In my mind, I needed to rugs and a few little furniture pieces so it just escalated from that so i've been very busy with that and to top that all off i just got back from a little vacation which was really short it was like five days ago over last weekend from like thursday through monday it was really fun we took my son dylan who lives here in wichita and my son colin and his wife who live in kansas city we all flew together we took them to california for a porsche club event it's actually not Porsche Club. My husband's in Porsche Club, but it is a Porsche racing event. So we watched racing for four days. And, you know, Emily and I, Colin's wife, don't love racing, but we spent one day and we went to a spa and had a facial and a full body massage. Ate lunch at a very nice little outside restaurant. It was absolutely wonderful. But <laughs> I know this is long, but I make my videos on Friday afternoons and Saturdays usually and I make two a week and I take Friday afternoons off for the most part, so that's really an easy time to film them. And then I edit a little bit uh, in the late afternoon. Alan and I usually go to a movie Friday night. And then Saturday, I hope to get my editing done by noon. Sometimes it's longer, sometimes it takes all day Saturday. Unfortunately, I don't have the luxury of like an Angie, which I almost envy her life because she gets to do YouTube and probably does it eight to five and she can plan her days and do all this research. But me, you know, I have a very busy, you know, running my company with my sister and very busy doing that. And then I have to make my videos on my weekend. It's no, no, poor, poor, pitiful me because I love YouTube and it's kind of like a dream come true. So I just kind of make it all work normally. But having gotten back from that vacation meant that I missed the opportunity to make two of my videos because I was gone over Friday. And I have, at the end of this month, an interesting thing coming up, which will be fun, which is a reunion of my junior high and high school girlfriends, like about nine other women and I, we're going to Kansas City together and staying at an inn, and it should be really fun. But again, I'll be missing my Friday afternoon making the videos and my Saturday editing them. 
so I've got to get videos made ahead. So I know that's a lot of stuff to throw at you, but I wanted to let you know why I stopped using the new face, which is that about two months ago when all of this busyness started happening, something had to give and it was my skincare. I stopped using the new face because I thought, well, the results are very subtle and I just don't have time and I'm going in and out of town with these meetings. I don't want to take it with me. And so I quit using it. So here we are today and it's a Sunday morning at nine o'clock exactly. And yesterday I got two videos made and two videos edited. I was so excited. And I even was able to run out and look at some rugs because I'm replacing the rugs in the living room because the wall color is different now. So anyway, I was running over to Home Goods to look at some rugs and I happened to glance at myself in the rear view mirror and I went, OMG, I look terrible. I looked 60. <laughs> I know that sounds weird to say because I am 60, but you know, I kind of pride myself on doing a lot of good skincare and taking care of myself and, and not feeling like I really look 60. But yesterday I went, oh my land, my face is falling. I'm getting jowly. I just, I, you know, I just looked old. You know, all these things went through my head. And then I thought, well, wait a minute, what am I doing differently? And then I remembered that I had not been using the new face. And so I thought, well, I think I look a lot worse, but I need to get up and take pictures just to make sure, because maybe it isn't the new face, you know, maybe, you know, maybe I'm just aging, whatever. So this morning I got up at seven o'clock, actually earlier than that, I always wake up early, but I got up early and I thought I'm going to take some pictures right now. And then I'm going to compare them with the 30 day results I had on the new face, which was 721 in there, I think, end of July. And now it's October 7th and I've not been using the new face for 60 days. Okay, so sorry for that long intro, but now let's get to the pictures. Okay, this is my before and after pictures on my full face. And the first picture is on 721, the end of July, after I'd used new face for one month. And as you can see, I look pretty good there. And then in the after picture, which was just this morning, after quitting the new face for two months, let me tell you what I see as the differences in these two pictures. Beginning at the top there, I've always had an issue with that one eye being a little bit hooded. And in the first picture, as you can see, I did not have a hooded eye on that right side. The eye just looks really good and the eyelid is as even on one side as the other. But as you can see in the after picture, I am starting to get the return of that hooded eye. The eyelid on that side is not nearly as big as the eye on the other side. And then looking at the eye bag under that one eye, it appears in the after picture after not using the new face for 60 days that that eye bag is starting to increase. You can't really look at the eye bag on the other side because that's my Mohs incision and that is still healing. So I just leave that out of the equation. Now in terms of nasal folds in the before picture when I've used the new face for 30 days, I really don't have any nasal folds. They look nice and smooth. And as you can see in the after picture, I'm starting to develop more of a nasal fold there. Um, it actually has a line that is going down, which I never really had before. And the lips were something that really surprised me because I do use the new face and kind of a hold on my lips. And after the 30 days in the first picture, you can see my lips are well shapen. They're kind of plump, they're nice. And then in the after picture, my lips are shrinking, they're misshapen. And look at the corners turning down. In the before picture, after having used the new face for 30 days, my lip corners look nice and upturned. I have kind of a pleasant looking expression on my lips. And then in the after picture, the corners of my mouth are drooping. And the lip corners to me were especially concerning to me because I saw that in the mirror in the car yesterday. And I realized that it looked like the corners of my lips were starting to droop. And I realized that that is something that old ladies get, which is that kind of perpetually kind of angry, kind of unhappy, you know, downturned lips, which, which creates that unhappy look on one's face. And I really didn't want to have that. And I'm so happy that it looks like the new face addresses that. In addition to all those small little changes, one thing that really struck me in this picture is the overall look of my skin. In the first picture where I'd used the new face for 30 days, my skin looks plump and healthy and the color is good. And look what happened when I stopped using the new face for 60 days. My skin just looks like it has a kind of an aging pallor. It just doesn't look as plump and healthy. Just the overall tone of my skin just looks more slack and just looks more grayish. It just has an older look and I really don't like it. Now let's take a look at the before and after pictures on the left side. As you can see in the first picture where I used the new face for 30 days, 
basically the overall look of the face on the left side, which this is the left side, it just looks younger and dewier and the overall skin tone and texture is much better as it was in the full face picture. I look quite a bit older in that after picture on the left side. And looking at the first picture, the cheeks are just rounder and the lips look perkier. The lips and chin actually stick out a little more. And then when you look at the picture on the right where I've stopped using the new face for the last 60 days, look at my lips and chin. They just look flatter and they just don't look as youthful. And the cheek is flatter. The cheekbone, the high cheekbone that I have in the before picture just isn't there anymore. And you can also see the difference on the left side in the lips. In the before picture, my lips just look perkier and better defined. And then in the after picture where I hadn't used the new face for 60 days, my lips got smaller again and the corner is downturned. And look at the jowl there. You can tell something very interesting on that jowl. And when I talk jowls, I'm not just talking about this because what happens when you have a jowl is that this part of your face starts to sag. So the first thing that happens before you get that jowl is that this starts to sag and droop and then that actually falls down and creates the jowl. So let's go back and look at that picture in terms of the jowls. In the before picture where I'd used the new face for 30 days, I have a very firm jawline and really no jowl, no pouchy look in the lower chin by the lips. And then on the after picture where I quit using the new face, the jowl is slacker and I'm starting to develop the little pouch that goes from the corner of my lip down to the jowl area. And if that continued, if this line continued to sag and get bigger, then you get the jowls that dip below your chin line and you lose your firm chin. Okay, let's take a look at the right side. And there again, in the 30 days of new face use picture, you can see the eyelid is not hooded at all. You're seeing a lot of eyelid on that side. And then in the after picture, after quitting the new face for 60 days, I am losing that lid. The upper brow is basically coming down. And although you may not be able to see it there, I'm getting some wrinkling there. I am really developing a hooded lid there. And you can even see on the outside corners of the eye that I'm getting some sagging in the after picture where I hadn't used a new face for the last 60 days. Now let's take a look at the nasal folds. And in the before picture where I'd used the new face for 30 days, I really don't have much of a nasal fold line at all. And you can see in the after picture where I stopped using the new face for 60 days, that nasal fold is increasing and the line is actually getting longer there. Now let's take a look at the lips. In the before picture where I had 30 days of new face use, my lips are well shaped and kind of plump looking and the corners are kind of upturned, which is nice. And then in the after picture, look at the difference there. Not only are my lips thinner, in fact, the top lip is now almost non-existent. At the corners of the lips, they're really turning down and it's jowling out right there and it's just not a good look. I'm getting that kind of sad look. And then looking at the jowls in the before picture with 30 days of new face use, they're nice and smooth with really no bulging at all. And then in the after picture, I'm definitely starting to develop a jowl there. It's getting a lot worse. And just in terms of the overall look of the face, just looking at the before and the after, it's just amazing to me, and you have to use your own judgment on this, but to me, I look 10 to 15 years older in that picture. The pallor is just not good, and I just look kind of defeated and sad. And it's amazing to me that defeated, kind of sad hangdog look, I always thought that when I saw older people and they looked like that, that maybe just, you know, they emotionally weren't happy or whatever, and, and that may be sort of true, you know, as they get older, but I think even more importantly is that our faces just sag and, and this just gives us a sad look as things start to sag. So anyway, that is a look at what happens when you quit using the new face system. I will never be without this little guy. You know, you're small, but you're mighty. Your, your changes look very subtle, but overall they, they work out to be something very significant. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in following along with me on my skincare journey, and especially following the next chapter of this story, because I am going to start using the new face again very religiously, and I'll show you in 30 or 60 days what the results are then, and hopefully I'll be able to reverse some of the stuff I've done to myself by not using the new face. But if you'd like to subscribe, just click that little bell, and that will just notify you of my future skincare videos. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and today is no exception. I've been using these Power Thoughts cards from Louise Hay. Let's go ahead and see what Power Thought we can think of today. And I hope it's uplifting because, I don't know, seeing my face like that was difficult.
Ooh, I love this. It's very appropriate. My work is deeply fulfilling. My work is deeply fulfilling. Oh my gosh, how perfect is this? Today, I give my best to that which I do, knowing that when one experience is complete, I am led to even more fulfilling and rewarding experiences. Oh my, I love this card. And you know, this speaks to my work on YouTube today. My work is deeply fulfilling. And you know, even though I'm disappointed that my face is starting to sag through not using the new face or whatever, when I realized that, you know, I had one moment of thinking I didn't want to share that with you. And then I realized, no, I've got to share it with you. You guys are like my girlfriends. And I definitely, on a little walk or whatever with my girlfriends, I would be telling you about what has been happening so that you could avoid the same thing. And really, my work is deeply fulfilling because I really do love, in a small way, impacting each of your lives. Even if it's just to say, hey, Beth is a little bit of a fruitcake in terms of all this skincare, that's fine. You know, maybe I give you a good laugh, but I hope you understand how much you all mean to me and how much my YouTube channel means to me. My work on this YouTube channel is deeply fulfilling and I hope your work or whatever you do each day is deeply fulfilling to you too because when we're fulfilled on a daily basis, think of the wonderful second half we will all have together. Take care. See you next time.